Karate and so what damnness? Let's play some Sims. So we're in the loading screen. Uh, <laughs> so I worked on this for a really, really long time. So I'm really excited to show it to you. This is like my second ever house build. So um, I hope it turned out okay. <laughs> this is not where we're supposed to be. We need to go elsewhere. So let's do that. Okay, off we go to Newcrest. All right, and I'm going to put on the move objects cheat because uh, I have things in there that might get messed up if I don't do that. So let's make sure that's on. Good, good. And off we go to Persephone's Paradise. I um, am a sucker for alliterations as some of you might have figured out. So uh, get your sims out every time I see that one in the loading screen. It always makes me really, I don't know, it just makes me feel like it's a panic type of thing. It's like, get your sims out, get them out of the house. All right, here we are. This is for Stephanie's Paradise from the outside. Um, I made it very uh, interesting, but I actually started at the top and then worked my way down before I knew what I was going to do with it. So as we can see, um, we have an upper uh, roof <laughs> pool and we've got some flowers over here. Um, and in this corner I was making, I put a bunch of those candles, but when I reloaded the game for some reason, they either moved or disappeared. So um, they were all in each corner and now they're gone. So I don't know what, happened with that but we got this dar diving board um right here so my sims can have an upper uh rooftop pool party if they want i've always wanted to make a rooftop pool in the sims and i just thought okay well we're gonna have to work from the top down and here's all the furniture i decided to put in here um I wanted to make sure that they could get to it. All right, and now this I ended up making right after the pool. So I was like, oh, you know what? We should put a little shower section here so they can rinse off after they've been in the chlorine because, you know, that's my automatic thinking is, oh, a pool, we have to have a place to rinse off. And then I thought, you know what? I always also have to go to the bathroom after I swim. So let's put a bathroom in here. And uh, this is the most modern bathroom you're going to see in this build because I actually didn't know what I was doing with it when I started. I just knew I wanted a pool on the roof. And then... After I put the shower and the toilet in, I realized you cannot get to this balcony. So you know what I've never done in The Sims before? You know what I've never done? I've never gone completely ballistic with all of the plant options. Everyone who does Sims is always like, we got to put plants everywhere. And you know what? I've never really done that. I've never been that kind of person. So then I just went wild with this balcony since I can't get to it to use as like a sitting space or anything. I decided they were going to just sit here <laughs> and um, have a bunch of plants. And we got this fairy in the side here. And we got another fairy on the other side. There she is. And so I decided that that's what I'm going to do with everything. Uh, I just made this entire spot just a, a little shrine to Persephone, if you will. So there's flowers everywhere. And that's why I put flowers all around the pool top above as well. And I got window boxes all around. All right, and now we're gonna go into the upper floor. So we're on the second floor where all the bedrooms are. So we're gonna go into this corner here. If I can spin it around, wee. Okay, bring it around town. All right, and we're gonna zoom in. And so I made a little reading nook because you can't really get 
behind the stairs there. So I made like a bunch of hall tables and put a bunch of plants everywhere again because this I decided, you know, if this is a house for Persephone, we're going to put plants literally everywhere. And so there's also a hall table here with um, some books. And I really, really like these antique books that they have in The Sims, but you can only unlock them at a certain point of a career. So when I'm in build mode for a new house, I always add them because I really like them and I can never have them in every house and I want them in every house. <laughs> All right, and so here's some more of the hall plants. As you can see, there's a bit of a theme on who has what in front of their rooms. So ignore these two rooms, we're not coming there yet. Okay, so this is the main master bedroom, I guess you would call it. This is the, the adult's bedroom, the, the owner's bedroom, whatever you would like to call it. So I made it Persephone's room. So, uh, you know, it has the most um, floral looking bed that I kind of thought was the most fitting with the roses on the top and the green bed. And we got the butterflies on the walls and the tree stump uh, tables for the side tables. And then here is the hall bath. I put a bunch of the bug lights from the uh, magic pack. And then I've got some of the fancier bath items in there because, I don't know, I just wanted to make it really fancy. So I decided that that's what I was going to do with that bathroom. So that's the hall bathroom. And then we have the balcony out here, which you can use. So I made it have a little nice seating area. I noticed my Sims always want to do their homework and stuff in the hall and outside. So that's why I put that there. All right, so we're going to go to the first, like, kids bedroom I guess is what you would call it so the first bedroom is going to be more of a, a gothic type uh thing also ignore that other bedroom we're not there yet so we've got this gothic themed type bedroom and I I don't know if he'll be able to get into that spot but I put it over there anyway because it fit and you know this person's probably gonna have uh their own bathroom because they don't want to go and interact with other people. So they have their own bathroom in, in their bedroom. So they can just stay there. And here's all of the art that was added in. So it made it look more homey. So we still have plants and stuff in this bedroom. But we have the darker ones. And then we have the more light and spring inspired bedroom. So it's all white and pink, which I don't think I've ever made a room this pink before. It's not really my style usually to do this. So I've got a lot of the flowers from some of the new packs. I, <laughs> Since the summer sale was happening on Steam, I may have gone a little overboard. I have almost all of the expansion packs and stuff packs and kits um, from Sims now. So this was very fun to make. And so I have all of these things in here to make it the springtime kid's bedroom. And I'm messing with the camera because I've actually never used them before. And I was like, oh, wow, a top down view. Let's do that. And then I forgot to do a top down view on literally any other room. I keep doing this. I'm like, oh, I'll do that later. And then I forgot. So I'm just messing with the camera and stuff. I, I need to stop doing that. Okay. So, yes, this is the, the springtime bedroom. I really like how it came out. Ah, yes. I need to make that go away. No, go away. Thank you. Okay. And then we're going to scoot over here. So you can see kind of above and then in this corner, this is how you get up to the pool on the roof. And then we're back in the hallway and we're going to go down because we're going to enter the first floor from the front. I'm going to have that be what we do. So we're going to go in there and now we're going to turn. Ooh, not that far. Okay. Woo. Okay. And I 
raised the platform of the house, which I've never done before. And then I forgot to make the walls really tall. So these are kind of um, smooshed together, but it's fine. It, it still worked out. And I was uh, really excited to have these things match the green as much as it did, because I know sometimes that is not what happens in The Sims. You don't always get the colors that you want to match match. And so it's been very nice. And we have a little red fruit over here and some cookbooks on the island. And then we have the living area. We love an open floor plan. Okay, so we have this living area and We've got these suitcase tables and such. Now hear me out. The reason I did that is because, oh, Persephone leaves for the winter, right? So we're going to have suitcases. <laughs> so it's like she's packing. So I thought that was clever. And now we have the kids area right behind the living space. And so I had put a couple different things in there so when the kids are there they can play with things so we've got this uh, science kit this activity table the puppeteer station some violins toys the dollhouse that big mat over there um i've never used that one before i always use the painters one so it was nice to change it up a little bit and now we have the dining area with the bar we got a little coffee thing got some fruit in the dessert and then we have the tea and the more flowers over there we've got the bar we got the dining hole like the dine the whole dining set my god i couldn't talk i'm so sorry and so we're gonna scoot over here and um here is where we have a flower arranging table and hey there's supposed to be another one over here where is it excuse me sims excuse me sims where is this i can't remember what it's called i can't remember what it's called i thought it was just floral arranging something but it's not here okay so let's go click on it so i can figure out what it's called so i can replace it okay ah that's what it's called okay so we're going to go and do that and replace it because I know I had move objects on. We all saw it. I did it. We did it. And it's got, hey, and excuse me. No. What do you mean? Well, I it should. I have the cheat on. Excuse me, Sims. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's fix this. All right. Stay. Good. Okay. Move objects. Let's do this again. All right. Okay, so it was on. Let's try this again. Put it on. Okay. Now go sit where you're supposed to be. Yes. Okay. Well, if you download this, this is where that's supposed to go. It's supposed to be there, but it wasn't when I loaded it. I don't know why it didn't want to work, but it didn't. Okay, let's save because I'm worried about it disappearing on me again. So I'm going to save and hopefully it will be there la later when I reload it. All right, let's keep going. So that is the whole living area with a fully open floor plan. Okay. And here are these lights I decided I was going to put all around the yard because I always forget to put lighting in. So that way. And oh, this stump, I always um, see it and I've never used it before. So here is a stump that you can plant things in because I made it so this would be a good place for gardening if it's Persephone's paradise. So we got some planters over here and see how I put in the um, traits. So we have a homey trait that helps sims master domestic arts of cooking mixology handiness and gardening we've got a great soil so gardening uh, goes well and then natural light so it makes painting and photography easier to master so those are the traits i decided to give the house so i thought those were fitting for persephone all right and then we got you know the outdoor stuff where it looks like you know you're gonna have a backyard picnic got some more planters over here we got the well we got the standing planters more planters and then we got the bird feeder and this this is the bird house and the thing that bothered me about the bird house is that i thought that the bird house was 
actually functional, but no, it's just decorative. It says decorative. Some plum sealed the opening to the birdhouse. Because I was like, well, if I have a birdhouse and the bird feeder, maybe birds will come to my yard. But um, I guess the bird feeder is just going to have to do. All right. So we're going to go back in and see that ladder over there. See it? Now for the piece de resistance. Here we go. We're going to go to the basement. All right, don't look over there yet. Don't look over there yet. Okay, we're over here. This is a little the entryway, okay? And we have here a little shrine to Persephone in both her spring and queen of underworld aspects. So here are all the bright sides of her as the spring goddess. You see how it's bright and pink and white? So this is to celebrate her as the goddess of spring. And if we go in, we can see her little altar. We've got some herbs and flowers as offerings to her. Uh, we have some other things on her altar. We've got some incense and this little floral thing, which is actually a carpet and it's supposed to be petals. So I thought that would be cool to have on her altar for as the goddess of spring. We got some fruit, some incense. And then these little guys over here are actually from the holiday pack for Diwali, but they look almost like Roman lamps. So I thought, you know what, these will kind of fit. So I'll put them in there because they looked almost like the Roman lamps. So I was thinking, ah, that that would be a good way to kind of get that in there. So that is one side. And now we go to the other. Don't look over there yet. Okay. And then, um, so I had tea set out for her because when I was looking up different offerings to give Persephone tea and hot chocolate actually came up. So I did that, some candles, some more candles. And then this is supposed to be like some planter with dead uh plants in it so i actually was like oh that's perfect let's use that for this side for persephone as queen of the underworld so we're gonna get close oh oh oh, oh. put it back put it back put it back okay Whew. okay so on this altar we've got a skull we've got some variety of urns over here some candles some darker plants and so I kind of tried to make it see how they're right next to each other I kind of tried to make it like a mirror of each other to have the same type of setup and over here we have some storage I didn't point that out um so we got some storage boxes and then the little light over there but that's not really important because that's not what we need to focus on we're focusing on Persephone so we got some more plants over here and we're gonna turn we're gonna we're gonna turn there we go <laughs> oh my goodness so here are the two things next to each other i thought they came out pretty well and behold we now have whoop did not mean to zoom in that far did not mean to zoom in that far the throne room yes uh, behold the throne room of Hades and Persephone. And here is Cerberus. I'm very proud of this. Um, I was trying different things, but after I had move objects on, I uh, merged the on the hunt statuette and I blew them up to make Cerberus or Kerberos if you want. <laughs> and then they had this little grim reaper gnome and I blew him up too and put him in front of the gate. And then I thought, these flying llamas, they could be the Furies. Because, you know what, in The Sims, I feel like if they had Furies, this is what they would look like. The Furies are flying llamas in The Sims. Now we all know, this is what they are. These llamas. Those are Sims Furies. Look at them. They haunt me. All right, so anyway, on the sides over here, we got some ruins and uh, a coffin and some ghosties and then more gravestones, some stairs, some more ruins, another coffin, more ghosts, because that's what you would see down here, would you not? All right, and then 
when we go up, we're going to see the throne. So this is where Hades and Persephone would sit in the throne room. And so you can see where Persephone would sit and where Hades would sit. He has the upper podium and oh no, oh no. The wallpaper, why is it like that? Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. cancel. There we go. Okay, we got to fix the wallpaper. Hold on. I don't know why that stayed there. I definitely changed it. Okay, where is it? I don't remember what I used. Oh no. <laughs> um, so hold, I'm so sorry. I have to figure out where I put, what I put on here. And I feel like, oh, oh, oh no. No, that is way too bright. Wh which one was it? I can't remember. Oh God. Okay, we need to replace one panel. Which one was it? Oh, oh, it's that one. It's that one, isn't it? It's right there. Oh my God. Here we go. <gasps> yes. Okay. I fixed it. Good, good. Okay. Back to what I was talking about. So you, as you can see here, um, we've got their throne space and this is where you would go if you wanted to consult with the gods of the underworld, this is where you would see the king and queen. And so we are going to go closer and you can see Persephone has a bowl of red fruit. Wonder what that could be. And then she's got some petals under her chair. You can see the brambles still have things sprouting behind her. And so this was my Persephone inspired build. I'm just so proud of what I did for Cerberus and his big uh, tree stump bowl next to him. I just, I cannot believe it turned out as well as it did considering I didn't put in any custom content or anything. I just used base game stuff for that. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I am going to upload it onto the gallery under an iron P and I'll link uh, my information in the box below so you can find it if you want to put this on one of your lots and let me know what you think of the build because this was my second ever house build. So I kind of went a little wild with it. And I really enjoyed making it, and I hope you all enjoyed watching this video about it. I'll see you all next time.